Gentlemen, please uh, have a seat. I've uh, prepared a statement I'd like to read. I've been asked to give a press conference on uh, the state of the New York Giants, and so this is the reason why we have um, called you all here today. Let me first be clear about who I am. I uh, was hired as the Grand Exalted Poobah of Football Aparish by Wellington Mara in 1973. I uh, cannot be fired, and I have the job for as long as I like. I am not the head coach, and I am not the general manager. They have their jobs to do, uh, but I can and will give input on anything and everything that is New York Giants, from the carpeting in the dining hall to the hiring and firing of players. Wellington and I were dear friends from childhood. When we first met, I said, what the hell kind of name is Wellington? And he said, Jesus Christ, you're stupider than a shoe. From then on, we were inseparable, except for when we were apart. I introduced his daughter to my nephew, Joe Nara, and when they were married, she became Mrs. Marinara. Now let's get this um, out of the way. I, I've been hearing grumblings about my wife and my mother-in-law betting every week at mybookie.ag after putting in the promo code capital VIC. I want to uh, reiterate that combined, they are 17 and 5. So if you have a problem with them betting, then suck my dick, suck my wife's dick, and suck my mother-in-law's dick. For all you others who aren't sucking all these dicks, go to mybookie.ag, put in the promo code capital VIC, and bet to your heart's content. If you don't want to bet, then don't bet. I told you not to be stupid, you morons. Let's talk about the Giants now after I have my sip of water, because at every press conference, you have to sip the water in between. Let's talk about the Giants now. Look, there are going to be a lot of changes, from McAdoo's hairstyle to who lines up behind center. But more about that later. We are one in six. We all know it. We are all sick about it. Nobody is happy about it. Well, maybe Eagle fans are happy. Actually, Probably all the fans of the teams in our division are happy about it. Okay, actually, a lot of people are happy we are 1-6. But Giant fans aren't happy about it. The goal is obviously to win the next nine games. Finish 10-6 and six and make the playoffs. There's nothing more to say about that. It is what it is. The defense, sadly, is very good, but is constantly asked to keep the team in the game and spends too much time on the field. It's like a beautiful cake that is left outside. It's going to turn to shit, right? You can't leave a cake out in the rain. And if it took too long to bake it and Spags never has the recipe again, you have a serious problem on defense. Do you people understand what I'm talking about? The offense is, sadly, like when you're driving in your car and you think you have to fart, but you shit your underpants, and now there is nothing you can do except keep driving with your dirty shit ass, your shit-stained underpants, and the car smelling like shit. In this example, the offense is the dirty shit ass, Sullivan is the shit-stained underpants, and MetLife Stadium is the car that smells like shit. Gabish? Look. There are going to be changes. I can't talk about them specifically right now, but maybe it's time for a changing of the guard in certain areas. I know we've been uh, to the playoffs so often the last six years with Eli, but Eli isn't getting any younger, and maybe we need to see how the younger guys can play when they are thrown in the fire. The receiving core has been decimated with injury. Maybe we need to revisit re-signing a guy like Cruz. Maybe we just need to think about bringing in receivers who do different dances after they score a touchdown. Maybe we need a jitterbug after a score. Maybe the frog. Maybe the twist. Maybe the Watusi. I don't know. Where is Bavaro? Guy's been injured like forever. What do you want from me? I'm the hunted one. Bright spots? Gotta say, JPP is one. I know I killed him when he blew off half his hand, but he worked hard and has come all the way back. The guy is playing great football. Look, in general, the defense is under Spags has come ready to play every single game. They have been the one reason why we've actually had a chance to win half our games. And we really could be four and three, but we aren't. 
We are going to take this time off to reevaluate everything. Okay. Now, I'd like to open up the press conference uh, up to questions uh, asked uh, telepathically from people who are living and dead. So everybody, put your hands to your temples like like you're like you're channeling questions. That's it, just like that. Okay. No, Geno Smith is not the future of this team. Why did we get him? S. Reese's Pieces. Jim and the Greek, holy shit, yes, black people can swim. Uh, Pete Rizel just said he wants to kick Goodell in the nuts. Okay, any more questions? Okay, that's it? Okay. Well, I'm done. Well, thanks for coming, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all next Sunday. Maybe we will uh, be able to turn this thing around and show a little something the second half. Okay, we have sandwiches in the next room, so please feel free. Go over there, grab some food, watch the big screens if you like. Uh, I have to go meet with, uh, with McAdoo's barber now, okay? But one thing you should always remember, go Big Blue.